Well, I wanted to make a different video, but I guess everyone is interested in ashram updates. So, here it goes. Get ready to be disappointed. Hi, this is Shodha and welcome to my YouTube channel. Wow, it's August 2020. The year is about to end and we're still stuck. I'm getting a lot of messages like when will the Isha Yoga Center be open for visitors and volunteers? When the energy classes are going to be starting again? There's even rumors going on among the volunteers that they're going to come to the ashram end of this August, but bad news, nothing such is happening any soon. I have asked Swami directly and he said no one knows safety first no one knows when things will be normal when the ashram will open so if you were planning to visit isha yoga center any soon well forget about it for us who are already staying in the ashram we are only allowed to go till the adiyogi statue for a limited period of time in a day that's it that's our outside world and a lot of things are different now like for me the life of isha yoga center adiyogi deva darshan is no more. My favorite place to do sadhana, Surikund is closed. Also, Moon Drum is closed, so no option to eat outside. And now this monsoon. I must say this is the most difficult monsoon of my life. Because previously whenever it was like heavy raining, I used to take work from home or a leave. But here, you don't have any option. You have to go to office no matter how bad the weather is and you have to get out in heavy rain for eating and here i have realized the best option to be during the heavy rain is to go barefoot shoes feels like burden now i'm surprised how everyone is so healthy here i mean previously i used to catch cold very easily but look at me now i'm doing pretty fine coming here as a visitor or as a general volunteer is different and staying in the ashram is like different different i would say life in the ashram is like really difficult it's not at all easy and peaceful rather i would say it's difficult but joyful weird <laughs> if someone is not into yoga and meditation they will definitely go crazy here they cannot survive my first week in the ashram was like really difficult i even cried once there were moments when I felt like the least important person in the world. No one gives a shit about me here. But <laughs> I'm doing fine now. It feels home to me now. I figured out how to survive here. And I'm happy and grateful for everything I have at this point of my life. Yeah, and I wish you guys are doing good too. Stay safe, stay happy. And you can also follow me on my Instagram. I've got a new hobby. And lately I'm posting a lot of digital illustrations. Comment down below if you want to share anything with me. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Whatever you like. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet. That's it. Bye.